Our purpose in Benita Unified is clear, and that purpose is to prepare every student so that they are prepared so that they can live their purpose. And we do that through our core values. And our core values are equity, mastery, and a focus on results. Equity is when we all have access to something. You know, in this case, it would be education. Two students may have the same capacity, but have a very different access. There could be barriers that one is facing that the other isn't. It could be related to mental health. It could be related to socioeconomic constraints. To me, equity is doing what must be done to create that access. When we're talking about equity in Benita Unified, we're looking at all of our students. We have two students. One student needs A and another student needs B. If we need to provide both of them with different things in the same setting, that's what we'll do to make sure that they're successful. Sometimes they need one-on-one -on -one attention where I sit with them and help them to do their assignments. Sometimes they need social and emotional support. I personally struggle a lot with math, and so I have gone to Math Lab, which is what they have at Intervention, working on math so that I can, um, so I can pass my tests, that I can actually understand my homework. I find it a lot better, a lot easier to understand than in class because it's more one-on-one -on -one. Um, and so that's been super helpful for me in the past couple of years. I've used that a lot. It's really nice to see that a lot of students do get help and they're not afraid of their teachers when they ask for it and they improve and achieve their goals. In Bonita, I've seen teachers give a variety of ways for students to interact with the content where they feel comfortable. So it might mean they get to talk to their group first. It might mean they get to submit their answer digitally or on paper. All of that is a way to make sure all students have equitable access to be successful. Mastery is about sustained application of skill. We don't want students to start over at the beginning of every year. So it's almost like riding a bike. Once you learn how to ride a bike, it never goes away. That's how we define mastery. We want that mastery not only with something like riding a bicycle, but with all the essential standards and skills in the core content areas. To me, what mastery involves is the ability to display a skill set. What I try to do is I try to find different ways to stimulate that, and that might be a Socratic seminar. It might be a text-based discussion where they're using their annotative skills. The emphasis is on understanding first. Are they understanding what we're giving to them? Are they able to apply it in any way that they need to? If they do that, then we know that they have mastered what they've been taught. A focus on results in the classroom means that we quantify for our students what it means to get to mastery. For teachers, that means we name ahead of time, hey, here's what I want to see more of in the classroom. This might be putting the learning goal on the board so they know what they're working on that day, but whatever it means to communicate to students, this is how I know that you know it then the students can focus on the results too. We have set some really lofty goals, and one of our goals is 80-70. We want 80% of our students to have met or exceeded the standards on the English language arts assessment and 70% in mathematics. We're one of the few districts uh, in the state of California that have achieved 70-60. That puts us in the top 10% of unified districts in the state of California. Our core values are much more than just words. It's not just enough to believe in the core values, but you have to put action and resources behind them. Next year, every single one of our elementary sites will have a math intervention program. We also know that the social emotional well-being of students matter. And because of that, we carved out money and we will next year have a full mental health program that will support all 13 of our school sites. What I love about working at Benita Unified is that it's a family that welcomes everyone and that makes sure that everybody has what they need to be successful. All of the uh, staff and faculty is amazing. They all uh, treat us with kindness. It will take all 1,100 employees to ensure that we implement and that we utilize our core values each and every day. The fact that we are engaging those students is powerful beyond belief. Every employee is coming to work with a smile on their faces and willing to do whatever for our children to be successful. On behalf of the Board of Education, I wish all of our students and staff a successful school year.